Section 2.9 deals with the absolute value function, both what the function itself looks like as a graph and what it looks like as an equation, and then it gets into transformations and how the graph can be transformed. So the first thing that we need to understand is what the absolute value parent function looks like. And we talked about parent functions at an earlier video or an earlier time. It is the smallest function that does not involve multiplication, division, add, or subtract. What I've just written in the blue box is the absolute value parent function. y equals the absolute value of x. I would like you to memorize that since it is the parent function. And what we are going to do in this video is make sure we know what it looks like graphically. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do, very simply as I told you, which always works, I'm going to make a t-table of values. And I'm going to make another one here because I'll probably go off the page. OK. So now, the first thing that we should always do when we make a t-table is pick some negative numbers. So I'm just going to pick negative 3, negative 2, and negative 1. And I'm going to plug it in. Now, if I take the absolute value of negative 3, we all know the answer is 3. The absolute value of negative 2 is 2. The absolute value of negative 1 is 1. And I'm going to continue my table with using the numbers 0, 1, and 2. And again, if I take the absolute value of these numbers, absolute value of 0 is 0, absolute value of 1 is 1, absolute value of 2 is 2. Now, I'm going to plot those points on my graph. Negative 3, 3 is about right here. My graph is slightly off. Negative 2, 2 is probably more about right there. And negative 1, 1 is probably more oh, about right there or so. My graph is just slightly off on the, on the smart board here. So I'm going to try and redo this a little bit more accurately if I can. And what you should have is a, is a graph. Here's 0, 0. What you should have pretty much is a line that goes through these points just like that. And on the other side, in the quadrant 1, 1, 1 is about all oh, right there. 2, 2 is about right there. And of course, we could continue on, 3, 3, etc. So what you have is a graph that looks like the letter V. This is the absolute value parent function. That's what the graph looks like. It looks like the letter V. Now, each line has its own slope. Hopefully, you recognize that this side has a slope that's equal to 1. And hopefully, this side, you recognize that ha that has a slope of negative 1. And the most important point of this entire graph is where the V meets right there at the bottom. That particular point is called the vertex. And we need to write that word down because you're going to hear the word vertex a lot. The vertex is what is the most important point that determines where the graph begins and ends. All right, so if you get any questions, please stop the video. Uh, make sure you ask me in class. I have one more thing that I want to talk about, and I'm going to go forward a slide to do that. Now, I'm going to redraw the graph. I'm just going to sketch what it looks like. If you remember, it was a V. It starts at the origin, and that side has a slope equal to 1. And this side over here goes up that way, and it has a slope equal to negative 1. Now, as we've been talking about from the very beginning of this class, I want to talk about domain and range of the parent function. Hopefully, you remember domain is the x values. Well, if we notice, how far does the graph go in that direction? Well, it's got an arrow up here, so it goes to negative infinity, 
And how far does it go in that direction? Well, it's got an arrow there, so it goes to positive infinity. So the domain, you could say, is all real numbers, or if you want to write it with the inequality symbols, the domain goes from negative infinity to positive infinity. The range. The range is up and down. Well, how far down does the graph get? Well, the lowest the graph gets is to zero, right there. So the range begins at zero, and it can, it can equal zero, as we saw in our table on the prior page, which is less than or equal to y. And how high does the graph get? Well, obviously, arrow means it goes on forever in that direction. So therefore, it is less than positive infinity. And that is your domain and your range of all absolute value graphs unless they're transformed. But that is the domain and range of the parent function and most absolute value graphs.